Alrighty, Arduino fans. Here we go again. Uh, here we have an Arduino with, uh, we have two inputs going into the analog sensors here, which is we have one uh, light sensor inside and one light sensor connected to the window there. And uh, they are pumping data into a uh, service called Patchby. And what Patchby allows me to do is to monitor the status of those two symbols with a nice 24 hour report and a real time update. So I guess I could press F5 and uh, refresh this page real fast. And you can see the rough location of where that is and a real time update. Nice little graph of what's going on. And so, um, basically, what I've got going on is I have an Arduino that is has the two sensors hooked up through analog zero and analog one. I have the Arduino which is running the standard Fermata, and then if I bounce back over here to the desktop, and let's see, jump over here screens, I have processing running, and I have a couple libraries that I have to import into uh, processing mainly the Arduino, the uh, Patchduino, or Patchno, and uh, EEML libraries which are all available from the Patchby website and uh, pretty much with that code uh, I just need uh, just a few lines of code and it is pumping up the info uh, real time to the Patchby servers of uh, those values which it maps and so we'll go ahead and we will walk over here and crawl. You can see the light levels of the room here have dropped. Now I notice the values went from 8 to 9. Um, I guess it would have been cooler if I did this at night here. But, uh, anyway, we will jump back over here and uh, we see our real time value here was in the 8s. So let's uh, do a refresh on the web page. And we see the real time value is now at 9. So, 997. Nine, I guess you can see that. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty neat. Uh, Patchby has a real nice uh, interface. Allows you to do uh, a lot of neat things here um, from doing inputs and outputs. So, um, I also could have an Arduino that. Um, could do something based on uh, one of my sensors so if one of the sensors was detecting light I could actually have it light up an LED or turn off an LED so Pat, uh, Patchby supports having um, inputs and outputs into, uh, into the web interface so it's pretty much really easy to set up and get going I have uh, uh, let's see a little bit uh, sample code here on the Daily Duino website. It's just a few lines of code to get you up and going, and it's not really anything that complex as far as the end result of wow, I've got sensors on the web. And one last cool thing if you've got uh, one of these uh, cool phones here, like a uh, Google phone, a G1, or I think they even have it on the, uh, the iPhone here. Uh, let me, it's hard to do looking at the camera. Okay. And okay, they have a patch B application for the phone. So let me uh, bounce back up over here. And so, what you well, let me refresh this page. And so, what I have here now on my phone is I have the same graphs that are available on the website running as a little app. It's a free app from uh, the market store here on the phone and like I said I guess it'd be the same thing for if you had the iPhone uh, but yeah and as uh, it's written in uh, I guess if you uh, had mobile processing you can write your own little app to do the same stuff here but this is really neat so with a few lines of code and uh, subscribing to the patch B service um, I'm able to uh, pretty much track sensors anywhere I go online uh, on my phone and uh, pretty much just kind of share them with the world and uh, interact with them. That's pretty neat. Um, I'm pretty impressed. So I recommend people uh, check this out and do more. Uh, yep. 
I think that's about it. I'm pretty sleepy, and uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Later.